Hello and welcome to this week's coffee vlog. It's Friday the 10th of March and I'm heading to work uh, taking in the wonderful sights of Lightcliffe tea rooms this week on the route. So um, a bit later setting off as well because I took the opportunity to drop the youngest off at school which I've just done. Uh, in fact, I've done them twice this week, but um, on Tuesday, I, uh, he took his bike to school, his new bike, rode his bike. Um, so that was pretty cool. Um, and he enjoyed that. This week has been, um, it's been alright, really. It's been a, another kind of sort of so so week as far as work. Um, I mean, it's been a bit more on actually. Over the weekend, the eBay, Amazon thing just suddenly decided to go completely bat loopy. It did. So, now that's an interesting point as well, seeing the police car. Um, because there was a big thing, of course, uh, a week ago, we just bought more than a week ago, a week and a half ago, uh, about use of mobile phones while driving. Um, and Bob and Bob's vlog did, I was going to do it last week and I think I got distracted and did something else and kind of forgot about it. So Bob kind of covered it about doing this sort of thing, vlogging while driving. Um, because I'm going to admit, I've had a good look at all the things you can and can't do with your mobile phone while driving, um, which mostly relate to holding it and touching it and doing things with it. Um, whereas with vlogging now, I'm not holding it, I'm not touching it, I'm not doing anything with it. I'm just driving with it sat there. All right, I'm talking to it, but if there was someone else in the car, I'd be talking to them. Uh, and they've not outlawed talking to people in the car yet. So um, I suppose in theory, the only distraction could be the fact that I'm in the the picture frame of the phone and the the screen bit of the phone that could be a distraction because I might be tempted to more look at me why would I want to look at me a lot I don't know but you know, maybe I'd look at me a lot more than I'd concentrate on the road or whatever um, so possibly I suppose they could say that the fact that the phone has an image on it is distracting um, Or, um, I don't know what, maybe, maybe the phone image. I mean, you could actually get away if that was going to be like the issue that there's an image on the phone and that's distracting the driver. You could just cover up the screen while you're using it. So, once you've got it prepared, you can only prepare it before I set off anyway. Uh, you could cover the screen up with use a bit of carbon fibre sticker actually that comes on and off easy enough so just apply that lightly to the screen when you set off so the screen's not visible and you're still recording uh, and then remove it at the end of that so you could do that um, but like I say the thing is I've had a look through and I can't see any reference to any reference to actually, I mean, you can use the phone to make phone calls and receive phone calls, providing you're instigating the phone or receive phone call or receiving the phone call without actually touching the handset. So you need some sort of hands-free system completely. So obviously, um, voice activation, hands-free. Um, they don't really say if you have a Bluetooth headset, if you're allowed to press the button on the Bluetooth headset on your head. I presume you could do that because that's only like scratching your ear or scratching your head or whatever else. So, um, but other than that, it, it's a bit and um, sort of Gordon Keenan uh, as well, who uh, watches my vlogs. He, he sort of made a comment. I think it was last week actually um, about it. Um, and yeah, I just um, I think at the moment it's just going to be a case until until someone you know, a case is brought forward and you know it could be the actual case it could be me it could be me if I'm in an accident while I'm doing this and 
they investigate it and find the reason of the accident was because I was doing this. Does that become the point that? I'm let, oh, no, he's going to let him out. Right. I was going to. Um, does that become the point that it then says you can't do video recording in cars or FaceTime? Because there's no mention on FaceTime at the moment. There was this thing in America that uh, an accident. Um, that caused multiple deaths, I believe, was attributed to someone making a FaceTime call at the time. Now, I've got to admit, a FaceTime call is more interactive because it's a video of someone. When you're talking to someone over a phone, you can't see them, you only hear them. Obviously, at FaceTime, you, you see a video image of the person, and you kind of want to interact with the video of them. And again, whereas when you're recording, like I am now, I'm not really interacting with me, <laughs> really. So, um, you know, it's not quite the same thing again. So I don't know about that, to be perfectly honest. I don't know, and maybe, um, maybe I'll start to think of new ways to do the vlog as opposed to doing it while driving. But it kind of was the idea that this was the way I was going to do it because it filled in some dead time driving. Um, it gives something fairly, vaguely interesting to look at while it's on because you can see the traffic and where I'm going to and whatever else and don't so much have to listen to me waffle on a bit boring um, so it kind of it, in two ways it was kind of super convenient to do it this way but maybe I'll do it something different maybe if we're gonna be I'm gonna be doing more roasting it might be a, a roast vlog or something I don't know don't know we shall see anyway so we're heading down to Hipperome and then on to Lightcliffe Tea Rooms um, probably gonna I was gonna say hit some traffic like traffic at Hipperome but we're gonna hit some traffic here by the looks of it digging up the road I'm digging up roads everywhere at the moment so other things that have been happening this week um, iOS beaters have been pounding out um, funny enough last week after my watch went super amazing on battery power then um, it kind of went a bit wonky again on Monday um, and it wasn't terrible but it had just I maybe got after 14 hours it was down to like 15% where I'd been getting 24 hours and 30% nearly left so I was kind of like well that's a bit odd but I think what I put it down to is I think I'd used a few apps on it during the day and I'm quite convinced that there's kind of this thing that they're still running in the background um, once you've opened them. But if you never open them after a boot, then obviously they're not doing anything, but they're still uh, doing a bit in the background. So it could have been that, and it just uh, they were doing a bit of draining. Or it could have just been having an off day, I don't know. But with new up another new update, um, I think the phone's been a little bit better on battery since then. Um, I think the update was Wednesday night, uh, and I did that straight away for watching the phone. Um, so, yeah, that's going pretty good. Um, I also I found um, found a neat little trick for your, your iOS 10 home screen. Because of course there is bits of jailbreaks about for iOS, but you've got to be on certain things and you've got to do different oddball things to do it. Um, it's kind of lost the track nowadays and. To be honest, I've kind of gone beyond the, the jailbreak thing because most of what was needed from it, you can get it in stock iOS now. And I prefer doing the beaters as well. Um, and just seeing what's new and whatever else. But anyway, so there's this neat little trick, um, and there's actually a website with loads of wallpapers. In fact, I think I'll, um, I'll find a link for the description if I can do, but uh, basically it uses a slight glitch in the way I always tend handles the wallpapers so that with a certain style of wallpaper it completely hides the dock at the bottom, so that bar at the bottom where you, your four, I don't know, most used apps you put in there or whatever else, I mean I always have phone and messages down there just because it harks back from the days when you couldn't even move them, <laughs> I got so, so used to it being like that. We haven't hit as much traffic here as I was expecting. Uh, so, there's this nifty little wallpaper, and when you when you apply, like I say, the dock just disappears, and it looks it really it just makes quite a lot of difference to what your home screen 
on your the iPhone looks like. Um, there's different ones for the different size screen ones. So I'll send a link through anyway. And there's lots of different variations of the wallpapers. Go on, you've started, so you may as well. Oh, you're doing right, obviously. Because why wouldn't you? Should have got a mini, and it'd be dead easy to have done it in one turn. You get a great big Range Rover Sport like that, you're just forever turning round, aren't you? Go up a mountain with it instead. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty nifty. Um, just quick way, nice and easy to change it. Change the look of your iOS uh, home screen. So we'll have a look at that as well. Um, I've got some messages from Richard Nellis, which I'll perhaps look at before we set back off again. Um, now I'm just going to nip in now, drop some stock in it like Clifty. Change the steam tap. Go on. Not be happy with the van, but you know. Um, change the steam tap. Slowly chugging through all the things that she needs um, sorting out with a machine to keep her happy. Um, so we'll get that done and then we'll get back on the road, back towards work. Uh, I'm hopefully going to nip in and wash my car before I get in work because. Uh, I can't honestly remember when I last washed it. It was a long time ago, not that much. Um, so it's well overdue a bit of a scrub. And especially with all the sort of cold weather and we've had frost and we've had salt and... Oh, a woman was going to walk in front of me then. And then, all right for this woman here. So... Okay, we can't a wash. every direction possible okay. in case someone runs out to the back of the car you never know they might do it right we shall stop here for a brief break uh, and I'll catch you in a bit and I'm back again uh, a bit more hotter and sweatier than I was before I started but I'm back um, that even that took a ridiculous amount of time for changing the tap and that was it um, the taps have like a plastic chrome cover uh, and I've already replaced the chrome covers once because the chroming is coming off at the end, where, edge with a holder and it's going to just a white plastic underneath so of course it doesn't look fantastic and it started doing it again on the hot water tap so uh, the manufacturer aren't being very helpful as usual so I've bought myself a new tap um, because the last time the tap got taken off, the, like, the chrome bits on the top are like a cover, it just clips into place and there's some little slots on the tap body where you'd lever out with a screwdriver. Uh, and the previous time it must have been levered out a bit violently and it made like a little um, notch in the plastic of the main tap bit that was sticking out. It was like a hard sharp bit, so whenever we were using the hot tap then it got this like sharp bit on it. So. Uh, it's not ideal so I decided I'd replace the whole tap body and the chrome cover as well at the same time nice new ones just so it looks a bit prettier um, which because of replacing the tap bit body bit wasn't so hard but the um, the cover it's just supposed to clip push clip in would it go in would it chuff go in and of course it, it's on a machine that's got loads of crockery cups on top of it so every time I'm trying to gently persuade the cover to go into place, bashing it, um, of course what happens is the machine rattles and all the cups rattle and it's like rattle, 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 rattle. Um, and everyone in the coffee shop's looking at me going, mm, what's he doing with that machine, making it go bang and rattle. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, and then of course people coming in for coffee, so I keep stop me bashing and rattling. So, um, to do it so in the end I had to just apply even pressure continuously for ages just pressing and pressing around the edge going around working it around bit by bit bit by bit got there in the end just these little faffy things are annoying so um yeah what else has been happening uh, Star Wars Battlefront obviously um, uploaded some videos now I've reached rank 100 and I've also got to the steering wheel uh, also have got uh, all the contracts completed. Um, I did a little video just of um, 
going through showing all the hut contracts. Um, could do one for the guns and things actually, they've not really been through that. And there's all the um, star cards, so the, there's like um, three, pardon me, three bonus weapons or accessories that you can activate, but you can only use them once and then they have a, like a cool down before you can use them again. Um, so things like the jump pack, I've been using that more, now I've remembered it exists, I think someone else reminded me about that. Uh, and actually it's it pretty handy the jump pack because it can get you places quick. And it also, it uh, can get you out of trouble as well, you know, if you're getting sort of battered by people or shot in a corner or whatever else or shot at. And you can sort of activate it and zoom out of where you are to somewhere else and hopefully uh, not get killed. Um, so that's pretty handy. And then there's things like um, I use um, like a focus fire one, which, which like increases the blast of your blaster for a short period of time. That's pretty nifty. Or there's the personal shield. It's pretty handy if you've got to activate something, run towards something and activate it. Uh, the only thing is, my, one of my favourite other star cards is the scatter gun, um, which defeats shields so it's really handy if you're at an objective that people are trying to activate you can sort of sit there and use your scatter gun and when they run up with a shield thinking great no one's going to shoot me you can just take them out straight away uh, and it happens to me a lot if i try and do the same thing so yeah that's a pretty nifty one so there's lots of little um tricks you can um pick up an extra weapons and things to you as well as the ones that you pick up while you run around as well you get bonus ones while you run around as well so um Lots on that. Uh, unfortunately, not so many video uploads this week because I spent Sunday night. I did loads and loads of games. I had loads of footage stored, uh, and I don't know if it was Monday or Tuesday night. I uploaded one, and I was about. It was a good job, Bob. It was a really good job. You, you commented when you did because I could have been away uploading a ton of videos, and then none of them would have had any sound. It's unrealised. Um, I uploaded the first one and Bob pretty much almost immediately commented. In fact, he commented on it before I'd even written the description to the video. Because <laughs> I, I have Final Cut just uploading. Um, I set it to upload, but I never write in the description. Because the thing is, sometimes Final Cut decides it's not going to do an upload. In fact, at the weekend, one of the videos I'd done, I uploaded it. And I'm sure the notification said it upload successful or whatever the little notification it does. So I deleted everything then. You know, I deleted all the the final cut files, render files. I deleted the actual video itself because I didn't need it again. It had been uploaded. That was it. I was done. Uh, and then when I went to YouTube, it said upload failed. I was like, oh great. So, <laughs> so I remember not to trust anything Final Cut says again and go and check in YouTube before I delete everything. So it's not there. I mean, it was just. It was, just another, uh, just another gameplay video. It doesn't really matter. There's plenty more to make. Another, another night gaming, and you got, who knows, 10, 11? Um, some I did a few last night, but there was quite a few ones I was just like, delete, delete that one. No, didn't do very well in that one. Um, and you get, you do get somewhere. You just get enter a match right at the end. So you're just running about. Just think you're getting, getting into it, and a minute and a half after you've started, game over. Great. <laughs> But often that's quite handy because if you win, you get a ton of points just for doing one minute and a half of running around not doing much. Um, so that's also handy. So I've got a few videos to upload. I might do some of those tonight before this one goes up, uh, the blog. And uh, yeah, just been playing through it. But exciting news as well because there's lots of rumours now about what Star Wars Battlefront 2 will be like. Um, which uh, obviously they're going to do a new one. Because um, this, I mean, this one hasn't run its course. It, I can sit and play this merrily forever and a day. I think Star Wars Battlefront. It's still a great fun game. And there's always plenty of people in it. It's not like because I think with these online multiplayer ones, the problem is some of them you just run out of people to play against because um, people just sort of lose interest and die out. But it seems to me there's always someone. Well, more than someone, there's quite a few people. There was one match last night where there were six people on the opposing team and me. <laughs> it's one of the ones I deleted, in fact, because uh, I was running about a bit and I'm like, hang on, I seem to be everywhere I run, there's an enemy killing me and there's no one helping. What's going on? So I, um, so I had a look at the players' list and I realised that simply 
just me. <laughs> I was like, mm, no, I'm not. I'll, I'll not. I'll not put up with that. Right, there appears to be a truck who's either broken down or stopped or something. I don't know. It's not doing a lot anyway, and it's kind of bunging everyone up. Should have done the sneaky back way, shouldn't I, Richard and Ellis? Sorry. <laughs> it's alright the sneaky back way, but we've got very bumpy bumps. So. Try to avoid it if I can, so. Um, so, yep. Yeah. Star Wars Battlefront just basically going well. Looking forward to the new one. Uh, I didn't notice with interest that there's uh, there's going to be a uh, Guardians of the Galaxy game brought out, which uh, I've got a feeling that'll be quite interesting actually. Um, I might have to take a look at that. Um, just to add a bit of variation in the gameplay. <laughs> uh, not that we're short of games. Um, the um, what is it? Lego Dimensions gaming. Uh, that seems to be going well. Uh, got the got the Sonic level pack, um, so the eldest and the misses have been into that because the misses like Sonic, they're yeah, jog. Um, <laughs> on the Xbox, they had the retro Sonic, and got the retro Sonic for them, so they've been playing like um, proper old school Sonic um, on it. But they've completed that one now. So, but the Lego Dimensions ones, I've just got a feeling that there's um. There's a problem. Yeah, no one comes up this way at the moment, do they? Da, 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 da. How embarrassing. Yeah, you're not actually going left, so. Now, you're not going to get to the point where some people are going to get stuck in the middle of the road. Because there's only so much space. And then when people are coming along, there'll be no room. So other things, I can't remember what other things have been happening really um, this week. Uh, not really, not been doing much more, well I've been chipping away at um, the scrap metal, but I'm getting there with tidying places up. Uh, and I seem to have cleared out, sold off a lot more stuff as well. So I'm getting there one way or the other, we'll have it tidy eventually, uh, at work, eventually at some point. We will. Nice and tidy, get in there. Um, been watching quite a few videos on YouTube as well. I've watched a bit of YouTube, I managed to get in now and again what I can do. Um, nice to see um, Mark McClough, uh, Mr. Fat Slim, back doing some of his bake videos because uh, he'd just been for ages and ages and ages. Um, completely disappeared. Um, I always enjoy watching it, does some really good videos actually. So. That's fat vapes now, or something like that. I think it is, but uh, I'll try and remember to add some annotations to the video if you know by the time night time comes, I'm going to stop, load the thing, forget about it, go and play some games or something. So, um, so I've been busy with that. Um, a bit of work on <laughs> website still, it's ongoing, honestly. Um, you can't really believe how long it takes. I've, I've still got two websites running. The old one, which has still a lot of legacy stuff that I need to move over to the new one. And the new one. And the people kind of divide between the two. I mean, the old one does mostly have parts on. Um, I'm trying to move all the equipment across, but I can't take it off the old one until I put it on the new one, as it were. Ooh! It, yeah, it was a bit close. Well, to be fair, the learner wasn't actually letting you go. You just kind of went and forced the issue. Which probably made them wee themselves a little bit. But, um... There you are. So, uh, yeah. So, the, the two are kind of running in um, in tandem at the moment. The bit obviously gets a bit of confusion because some stuff people want to buy. Some of it, but they get forced to the new one. You know, for the majority of, like, coffee and tea, you know general stuff um, it just I've just now got manual links to the new site from the old one and all the contents been removed off the old um, shop database so there are occasions where people want to buy one thing that isn't on the new store but they can't because it's they keep going going to the, oh, going from the old one to the new one and it causes a little bit of confusion so I do need to get on and move it all but just it's such a massive 
massive amount of work um, and we're just sort of again reconciling things like pricing you know the, the pound the dollar is terrible and to the euro and you still you keep looking at pricing and you know it's very easy if you're not careful on some of your margins and imagine it's happening a lot with people actually that you've actually your margin is just gone completely just by the fluctuations in um, the exchange rate um, so still looking at pricing there done a lot of drop shipping this week which is um it's good for me actually it's um there's a good way of doing business because effectively you don't touch the stock you don't have to invest in holding the stock uh, you just get the order for it and then you order it in from wherever and they send it direct to your customer uh, it's an ideal way of doing things so a lot of the the parts and things that the spare parts company I deal with who obviously deal nationwide with engineers and everything else specifically um, you know they supply the engineers that keep coffee machines and things going week in week out and obviously they need to have stuff quickly so all the parts are available on an online system uh, and you can log in because um, it's obviously it's not open to the public it's only for trade uh, you can log in and then you can order whatever bits and pieces you need and they'll deliver it next day you've got up till half past five to order so you've got till quite late and it'll still arrive next day and um, yeah, you can just order stuff and have it shipped direct to where it needs to go to um, so I obviously have some stuff comes to me when I need it in fact I think I've done about 11 orders this week with them something ridiculous like that because one day I'd have four orders one was coming to me and then the other three were going out to various places where people had ordered stuff but uh, it just happens that way sometimes some weeks I'll just not order at all from them and others you know people go mad on buying little parts and bits and pieces so um, no, it's all good you know it's all good business um, and it takes a few minutes to do an invoice for the relevant stuff and to do the order and have it sent direct and that's it you're done uh, and you take your little bit of uh, margin for it so so that's been going well and just been sorting stuff out and trying to sort through the two websites and um, doing a little bit getting one of the two roasters we got in the roasting room has now been sold and a gentleman who came up to see the one kilo or two weeks ago he's now confirmed his order he's actually paid actually paid um, for his machine so that's been built and we had another one kilo for Brighton uh, and he's paid as well so um so two more orders they're not all right relatively smaller machines but still good to, to be getting that uh, you may notice I'm going up here which I don't normally do because work isn't up here but the petrol station that has three jet washes is and that's where I'm going to wash my car so and um, we'll get in the jet wash and then uh, I'll quickly run through Richard Nellis's uh, little list of things because I can't remember still. There was something about Cliff Castle Museum, I think, Richard Mennett mentioned. I can't remember exactly what it was, but there's something about that. Um, we shall see in a moment. I'm going to do some work on the pumps. Uh, let's hope that this one on the end is working then. So here we go, we can stop. So now, because another thing that the new law said was about smartwatches, uh, and you can, you can get done for touching those now while driving. So I have to be a bit more careful about newsing about at this. Uh, oh, lots of things I didn't want to know. It was a long time since I sent this this message from Richard Nellis. Uh, let's have a look, Richard now. Cliff Castle Museum in Keighley. He went there on Tuesday morning and afternoon. And I'm sure he did some dance moves to this song. Tuesday night, Richard Nellis was singing Kiss Kiss by Holly Valance. And I'd like to see the video of that, Richard. <laughs> you need to get someone filming you doing these songs. Um, spring budget of 2017. Generally, the budget doesn't seem to have done a lot. Um, I'm not sure what's going on with that, um, but there was, wasn't was a great deal happened, I don't think, as far as budget goes, anyway. 
Uh, so budget, yeah, it was a bit of a non non thing really. Uh, new Be Beauty and the Beast and Power Ranger films. You love your film, you love your films, don't you, Richard? Yeah. Um, Power Rangers might be all right. I don't know. And watch that now and again. Uh, it's a bit of an oddball thing, Power Rangers, but. Uh, Centre Parks Resorts, because um, his mum had been to Sherwood Forest in 2003, and he's been to Whitefell Forest in Cumbria. Nice Cumbria, actually. I do like Cumbria. Um, Drayton Manor. He's possibly going to go to Drayton Manor. It's a good place to go. Richard had been there many times, Drayton Manor, and it's pretty good. Um, and he's going swimming at Richard Dunn's on the slides on Saturday. Very good, Richard. Richard Nellis is that Richard Dunn's? That rhymes, doesn't it? Very good. Fantastic. Right, I better get on because I need to wash my car yet and then get to work. And they're going to wonder why it's taking me so long. Well, it took ages to change that tap. You know, that's why. Not a thing to do with watching my car. We don't know. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. So um, have a good weekend and week next week. And I'll catch you in next week's coffee vlog. See ya.